5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock. These are all o'clocks. O'clocks are things that we are familiar with when we are late, when we are on time, and when we are looking into the future. These elements comprise the human concept of time. Time is really human because time is not really something that really exists unless you're measuring it. But then again, what are you measuring it against? Well, as quantum physicist Heisenberg once said, I just don't know. I'm not that certain. That was called the uncertainty principle, and that was taken upon by many people in fastidious and prestigious event coordinators across the world, and they incorporated it into text, 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 text books, 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 books. And because because of that, 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 they, 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 the concept of crime is based off of uncertainty. Uncertainty is definitely something we all experience. But on the quantum world, well, it's neither here nor there because, you see, particles are neither here nor neither there. But they are there at the same time. It's really kind of a Zen thing. But fortunately, it's been proven by science. And as we move into the new era, past 2012, the end of the Mayan calendar and other such great potentially spiritual Y2K events, we have to notice that maybe time won't be so important anymore. Maybe we need something different.